Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. It's Monday, guys. It is Monday. And for me, it's a good Monday. So I hope your Monday is going well, that you had a great weekend. Today, we're going to talk about faith. I don't know why I'm singing. That is a good sign. You know it's going to be a good day when you go around singing early in the morning. But faith... Hebrews 11, 1 says that faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us the assurance about things that we cannot see. Cannot see. It's not faith if you can see it. It's not faith if you can see the whole entire plan and the reason why and all this. It's not faith. And we need to operate in faith to please God. We need to grow, guys, and we need to get to a place that in our walk with the Lord that we are not relying only on our five senses. That's a huge thing. That's where God is laying on my heart. He wants He wants to spur me on to keep walking into greater levels of faith. And in turn, he wants me to bring it here to Coffee with Christ to spur you on to keep walking into deeper levels of faith, you know? He says, you have more faith in you. It's like you have more mustard seeds than just the mustard seed of faith that it took for you to believe for salvation and to believe that you will be with Jesus when you die. You have more seeds of faith in you, greater things. And so I wanted to, he kept laying on my heart, Noah, Noah, Noah. And so I'm just going to, just going to remind everybody about Noah. You know, Noah, God told Noah to build the ark and that it was going to flood, that the earth was going to flood and that it was going to rain and for him to take his family and the animals into the ark. And he give him exact directions for this ark. But the thing that the Lord wanted me to remind everyone is that Noah was obedient and Noah hadn't even ever seen the rain. He didn't know what was going on. I imagine that Noah was kind of confused. I imagine that it was pretty difficult. You know, he's like, he probably maybe got made fun of, but he was obedient through the doubt. You know what I mean? If Noah had doubt, he was obedient through it. It doesn't say that Noah had doubt, but he had never even seen rain. And he's like, what? I mean, Noah was human. He may have, God may have considered him righteous, but he was still human. And I know in our humanity that sometimes we can have doubt. We can be like, what? What is he talking about? But Noah was obedient in spite of it. And so I love this, that God gives us the Holy Spirit. So we don't have to walk around blindly, like without the helper, the advocate, the encourager, the counselor. He gives us his Holy Spirit to help us in all this. And the Holy Spirit shows us things to come, which I love. And so I want to read that to you. John 16, 12 through 14 says, this is Jesus talking. He said, there is so much more I want to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by telling you whatever he receives from me. So he will tell you one translation. Another translation says that he will show you things to come. And so the Holy Spirit, God doesn't want us to rely on only our five senses. He doesn't want us to be silly and not, you know, you know, he partners with our humanity. And so, but he wants us to rely fully on him fully on him. And so he's given us the Holy Spirit to show us things to come. And so I was sitting here and the Lord just laid it on my heart that somebody is out there and God has called you like Noah to do something that is going to take faith, that you do not know all the plans. You don't even know that you have the faith to accomplish it. God sees you, and so therefore, I have prayed for you this morning. I have prayed for you. I believe that um, you are being ministered to now in that area. I don't know what it is, but that God is with you. He is ministering to you. He is speaking to you. He is encouraging your faith right now. 
If you are struggling to hear from the Holy Spirit, I have prayed for you. I hear this all the time. I don't know how to hear from the Holy Spirit. You know, I believe that you are hearing from the Holy Spirit, but you are doubting it. I have prayed for you today, and I believe that you are being ministered to as well. So I wanted to bring that encouragement today. I want you to have a great day. Know that I'm continuing to pray for you, and I will talk to you tomorrow.